today we're going to cover how to use Google Chat. This is particularly relevant because soon the Hangout extension and the Hangout app will be disappearing. So therefore we will have to move on to Google Chat. First we need to figure out how to locate Google Chat. My preferred way is always to go up to the URL bar and simply put in chat Google dot com. Once you press enter, that will take you directly to that particular website where it's, the chat is going on. The other option is that you can go over to the right hand side here and see your apps. Once you press on that, you will come up with different options and one of them is chat. When you press chat, it will take you to the chat main page. You will see that it looks very much like a normal hangout. You will have all the different conversations over at the side. You will have an option to add or find people that you want to chat to. So let's say we want to find a person. Let's put in test. One, two, three, a good friend of mine. So let's put in his name. There we go. And now we can go in and chat with that person. Let's say hi. So you can see here that that has now been sent and that will be going on to the other person. This will also appear in the Hangout messages until Hangouts are turned off. So you don't have to worry about uh, kids or staff not being able to find these messages. The other option is that in Hangouts currently you can do video calls and you can equally do this in chat. You'll see down at the bottom here there is an option to press add video meeting. When you press this it will generate a link for you. So let's say uh, Please enter this call. And what that does is that it has now generated a link that's specific to the people that you're chatting to. So in this case, it's just two people. It's me and this test, uh, this test person. And once they are ready, they can just go in and click on it and it will take them directly to the meet. And you can see here, now we are ready to just join. That is how that works. You can also do uh, group messages. So if you're going to do a group message, you can add all the, the people that you want to do a group message or type a group message to. The other thing you can also do is you can create a room. This means that, for example, if you have a classroom that you want to create, let's say it was P5A or something like that. And then once we create that, that means that we have now created a room and we can add people to this particular room to be part of that. So that's quite a good way of communicating with pupils or staff. And that is basically how you use chat.